When it comes to the lore of Path of Titans, I do have some questions. Mostly, how did this world start? What is the story of this island? Perhaps I'm being a bit too narrow-minded. Perhaps the answers I'm searching for are hiding in plain sight. Let's all take a step back and think of a few conspiracy theories. At the making of this video, there are no official nor confirmed theories about this story and lore behind Gandwa. Also, just heads up, I'm going to ignore Panjura because that place are just devoid of any possibility for interesting lore. Gandwa, on the other hand, different. Some may think that this island is just a pile of random biomes, and you might be right, but I must say that you're wrong. This is my conspiracy theory, and here's my theory. I believe that the entirety of Gandwa is an old battleground from ancient dinosaur gods. Now, I know this may sound ridiculous, but just hear me out. Firstly, let's take a look on how other similar games handle their lore. The Isle, another dinosaur survival game, gives a few hints about their lore in the form of old human buildings which you can find throughout the map. These clues will be more apparent in future updates, but for now, it is deduced that the island was a human experiment area, an experiment that went wrong, the humans lost control over the creatures and then had to flee, leaving the creature that they created free to roam the island. You know the standard Jurassic Park scenario. Path of Titan Skandua does not have any obviously human-made structure. There are of course the extra stuff created by mod developers, but as they are mods, I will not treat them as official. The only thing we can assume and are highly possible created by humans are the weird monolith formation on Sanctuary Island. Now first thought that most people come up with is, it looks fairly similar to Stonehenge. In other words, the IRL version of this and probably the inspiration. That is already a fair reason to believe that these were created by humans. I have yet to see any papers arguing that dinosaur would do this. Another reason to believe that these were created by humans are due to where it's placed. It is placed fairly far away from mainland, meaning that it is safe from most land-based creatures with the exception of a few predators that might take the journey just to eat a few hairless monkeys. The purpose for these rock formations are still speculation. After all, we still have yet to uncover the truth about the re IRL Stonehenge. However, this video are full of conspiracy theory and my theory for this is that this is either the leftover of a sealing process or a summoning circle. Which goes back to my theory about ancient dinosaur gods. Also, about the people that created these monuments. Who cares, they're just stupid humans. Back to the conspiracy theories, there are a few other topics that need to be addressed. First of all, how do the creatures of Gandwa know how to use these things? One rock can summon you no matter where you are on Gandwa. The other one can send you to another dimension where you are safe from any danger. My theory is that these marks on these rocks are leftovers from ancient dinosaur gods, basically just a bit of their power marked on rocks after they were used. Just think of it as when one of them had to teleport from one place to another, some of that magic got stuck on the rock and that is what we see today. As to why they know how to use them, it is because that since these are powerless from ancient dinosaur gods, it is just like an instinct to them. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit far-fetched, but hey, welcome to conspiracy theories. As to what happened to the ancient dinosaur gods, why they disappeared and why we can't find them, it is pretty simple. They all fought and they continue fighting until only one was left. What happened to that one? Well, there are a few alternatives. The simple theory is that he went to his own dimension to regenerate, 
but because he is a godly dinosaur, his regeneration takes forever. The other theory is a bit more complicated. You see, at the final battle, I speculate that it must have been around here. I think you can see why I believe it would be here. I mean, the battle scars are pretty obvious. Now, there are two ways this can happen. One is, both dinosaur guards were so injured that they both died from their fight. The other possibility is that one survived and tried to flee to the ocean. But the ancient humans wanted these destructive creatures gone. All of them. Do you see a familiar island that so happens to have some structure that may add to the theory? This goes back to the theory about these monoliths playing a role into dealing the final blow into the fleeing dinosaur god. There are most likely one question that is in the back of your mind, and it probably goes along with, but Arden, why would you even consider the mere thoughts of ancient dinosaur gods? Yeah, I know that's a really strong fantasyful imagination, not even conspiracy theory will be able to make a good excuse for that. However, I do have a good standpoint to why I believe this. Ancient dinosaur god doesn't exist? Well, why if I told you that there might have been one hiding in front of us this entire time? You cannot look me in the eye and tell me that these rock formations were naturally made. Besides, this wouldn't be the first time we had a mythological being turned into stone. Whoever this god was probably lost the battle and then turned into stone for some reasons. I don't know if the gods works in a mysterious way. What do you think? Do my conspiracy theory make sense? What do you think are the cause of this reed rock formation and the formation on Sanctuary Island? What are your thoughts about the Battle Titans lore? Let me know it down below and with that I will see you guys later.